Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on the usages of nouns. This usages of nouns it's an important area of English grammar. And many questions uh, are set from this particular portion in different competitive examinations and in, in academic examinations of schools and colleges. In order to gain competitive mileage and to have a good grip over English grammar, it is advisable that you watch this video till the end. This particular video is part two of the series. Part one has already been published, and this is part two. This part two of the video relating to usages of nouns, it specifies that some nouns are there which are exclusively used as singular. Now let's try to know different other things relating to this category of nouns. Yes, here they are. Before I take you to the usages of nouns part two, I would like to make one thing clear. There is some confusion relating to this word uh, usage. Let me make you clear, my dear, that yes, uses means in simple terms, uses. Usage of nouns means uses of nouns. This will help you to understand my concept in a better way. Now, you see, this uses, it means the typical way of using English as supported by English grammar. Typical way of using English. When I say this, I mean the particular way as used by, as followed by the native English users. Whatever they practice that is supported by the rules of grammar, the same things we have to know and that's why please have this idea that usages of nouns means uses of nouns. I think you are clear about this. Now coming to our second uses. I have already mentioned that second uses of nouns, it specifies that some nouns are there which are used in their singular form. Singular form, not in plural. Okay, but we make mistakes while using them. I think after watching this video, you'll not be committing the same mistakes ever in life. Well, I give you here one example. Money are always needed by all. Money, when it is used, it should be singular. In the first sentence you see money are. Are means plural. But in plural sense, money is not to be used. Money is to be used in singular always. That's why money is needed by all. That's the correct use. Yes, if someone questions why money is used like this, because uh, this rule of grammar specifies this, my dear, usage of nouns specifies that certain nouns like this, like money, should be used always in the singular. Another sentence. The sceneries of Uti are quite pleasing. Sceneries, sceneries, that's a plural noun. But is this plural noun correct in this sentence? No. The correct sentence is, scenery of Uti is quite pleasing. This is the correct sentence. Now, another sentence. The informations provided are correct. Informations provided, informations are. Informations, that's a plural noun. But is this plural noun correct in this sentence? No. What's the correct use then? The correct use is the information provided is correct. Information is. Let me tell you, my dear, nouns like money, scenery, information, all are used in their singular sense, in their singular form. If anyone is using, otherwise, definitely mistake is being committed. Well, here, how to identify such categories of nouns? Very simple trick is there. Such nouns, which are always used in the singular, they come under uncountable nouns. Their category is uncountable nouns. That's there. And that's why, as grammar specifies, that yes, they are to be used always in the singular. Here, I am going to give you a number of questions. And through these questions, I shall be bringing a number of new things to your knowledge. New, when I say new things, I mean new words which constitute singular nouns to be used in a singular form. Okay. Here is question number one. Question number one is, your advices are acceptable. In this sentence, you see, advices, that's a noun, and it's a plural noun. And now the question is, 
is this sentence all right? Is this sentence correct? No, my dear. This sentence is not correct because correct sentence should be your advice is acceptable. Advice is a noun which is always to be used in the singular. If someone is using advices, that's wrong. That should be avoided. Okay. The so simple rule is okay, certain nouns they come under a particular category, and that category is that they are, the, that category allows the nouns to be used in the singular form. Oh, yes, that is there. Come to the next question. Our next question is, he runs many businesses. He runs many businesses. Businesses, that's the noun in the plural presentation. But is the sentence correct? No, that sentence is not correct. Then what should be the correct sentence? He runs many business. Many business. Business in the plural sense it is used in this sentence. But the business always is to be used in its singular manifestation, singular form. That's why the sentence he runs many business is the correct sentence. Here is still another sentence. Very interesting sentence. I can't carry heavy luggages. I can't carry heavy luggages. Luggages, there's a plural noun. But in this sentence, how far it is true, I mean how far it is correct. That's to be checked up. Now, I can't carry heavy luggages. That's wrong. What's the correct one then? Correct one is, I can't carry heavy luggage. Luggage. Again, let me emphasize, it is one of the nouns which are always used in the singular. Next to this, there is another question. Postages are payable. And here in this sentence, postages, that's a plural noun. But is this uh, plural use of postages correct? No, it's not correct. Correct sentence should be, postage is payable. Why is this? Because postages, that's wrong. And postage is correct. Postage is a noun which is to be used in its singular form always. I think you are clear about this. Come to the next question again. Next question is this. Breakages of any sort are usually compensated. Breakages. If any breakage is there and anything in transit, in transportation, usually the transport companies, they pay the compensation. This is the meaning. Breakages of any sort, of any type, they are usually compensated. Yes. Breakages, this is a plural noun. But is this plural noun correctly used here? I mean, is this plural noun permissible in this sentence? No. What should be the correct sentence? Sentence, correct sentence should be breakage of any sort is usually compensated. Breakage of any sort. So, breakage is one such noun again which is used in its singular form. After this, there comes another question. English poetry are quite enjoyable. Poetry here is always to be used in a singular. Don't write poetry are, you write poetry is. Poetry is. Okay? So poetry is one such noun. It is always to be used in the singular. Next. This question again says that the stationaries purchased are not good. Now let's check up whether this word stationaries purchased are not good in that sentence whether this word is correctly used or not. The use of the stationery here in this sentence is not correct. Why? Because this word stationery is to be used in the singular form. It is to be always used as singular. That's why stationery is purchased. That's wrong. Stationery purchased. That's correct. After this comes another question. This question again specifies the same concept in its different sentence. His mischiefs are disliked. But in this sentence, the plural use of this mischief is not correct. And the correct sentence is the mischief is disliked. Mischief is this. This mischief is again another noun which is to be used in the singular form. Yes. Next comes. Wastages of food materials or food grains are not good. Wastages of food grains. Wastages. This is the plural noun. This wastages is not permissible. Correct sentence should be, wastage of food grains is not good. That's the correct one. And the last sentence is this. Our kitchen is full of crockeries. Plural of crockeries that's used here. Is this all right? No. Kitchen is full of crockeries. It's wrong. What's the correct sentence then? Crockery. Our kitchen is full of crockery. Singular. So crockery is one such noun which is to be used in the singular sense always. In its singular form. Yes, my dear. By now, 
I think you have come across a number of nouns which come under the category of nouns to be used in singular form always. I feel confident that yes, you are now capable of identifying the correct usages of nouns of this category. Yes, create your own identity with good command over English. That's why these sort of videos are required for you. Yes, thank you.